Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to NIMBY Rails. This is the uh, grand plan, uh, the Alberta part of it. Now, uh, last couple of episodes we've been plumbing in these um, lines here, and uh, this time around we're going to build them and then uh, fling some, uh, some routing at, at them. Now, I have uh, I have uh, run forward the clock to get enough cash here to build the uh, the blueprints. So here we go. Bam. Bam. Okay. Now. Now that we've done that, uh, what we need to do is fling some uh, trains at it or adjust existing lines. Now, uh, I'm going to, I was thinking of making a, a you know, some sort of a uh, line terminus here and a line terminus here, but no, I'm, I did decide that I'm going to run this line, uh, this line, Um, which line is it? Right. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, where is it? Here it is. This one. Uh, well, I'm, I've decided to run it all the way down to the, uh, the uh, the the Coots, uh border point here, uh, and I think I'll uh, actually put a uh, a connection point there. But we need to come down here, and Fort McLeod is where we are uh, connecting at. So I'm running the uh, I'm keeping the clock running because uh, the cache needs to keep building up so we can uh, uh, apply uh, the uh, uh, useful thing of buying trains for the other lines. Right. So we are going to add stops. And uh, we are... Oh. We're going to have to add it off of after Claire's home. And we're going to need to add that no. No, we're going to have to make it after here. Fort McLeod. Okay, right. I was just reading it wrong. So we go along here. Um, and then we add uh, Lethbridge. Yep. Yeah. And then from Lethbridge, we have what? Milk River, and we come way down here, and we add Coots, and we come back up, Milk River, and we've got a connection problem somewhere along the way here, so I'll go looking for it after I connect this back up. Um, no, that was a graphical glitch. Um, right, we go here. And then I think we have to go back to Fort McLeod. Yeah. Bam. Now, I need to go find the uh, the glitch along that line. Right. Um, okay. We have a... I probably neglected to connect something somewhere. But it is definitely along here somewhere. Um, hmm. 
probably a it's probably a viaduct or something somewhere or I didn't get it connected to a station Right. Yeah. So this is the uh, the fun part when you mess something up, and you need to find where. Aha. There's the, the gap. Uh, right, so if we go in tracks, we go in here and we do that. Uh, and then we go back in lines. What? Okay. Now, what do we need to do? We need timing calculator. Um, we will estimate travel times. Right. Um... And we set the, uh, okay, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, uh, I'm just going to leave it uh, like that. Uh, okay. Okay, now they will reestablish the spacing. Okay, now that they've all stacked up, um, yeah, uh, because I had the uh, the whole uh, route messed up there. Uh, we could probably use another train on here, but uh, I think we're fine as we are. So if we come up here, we've got a station where we probably are. Uh, accumulating a passenger or two okay so that uh, that gets that line uh, spread out uh, give it some time and these guys will all unbunch because they all got stopped up over here um, right um yeah okay so they will uh they'll spread out and uh, the problem will get solved now we need another line here which will go from uh, crow's nest to uh walsh uh, so we're going to go in here and we're going to uh, create a new line and this is going to be uh, intercity rail Crow's Nest pass to Walsh. Right? Yep. Okay, now what did we use for our ticket price on this one? Five per kilometer. Let's also use five per kilometer here. That's four. That's too much. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. Now, we're going to add stops to the line. We will start over at 
Where's where's crow's nest? Okay, we will start here. What? There we go. Uh, here, right, here, here. Here, right, and here, right, and then we need to go here, and we get to go all the way across uh, to here, where we pick up here. And then right, we got uh, here, right? That's Tabor, and then we have Bow Island. And then after here, we got we have Medicine Hat. Right. Right. We're going to stop at the hat here. Uh, right. Right. Um, back. Right. Here. Okay. Here. Right. Come on. There we go. Okay, back onto here, right? Now, where do we have here? Okay, right. Here. Here, yeah. There. Oh, come on. Click it. Okay. Okay, we've got a gap in here, too. Okay, I must have missed something. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we'll go back in here. We'll go in here and we will. Uh, connect that. Okay, now we go back under lines. It connects. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to need to fling a train at that at some point. Right. 
Right. We're going to need to fling fling trains at that. Now, um, is that uh, complaining about anything now? No. Uh, okay. So we're going to uh, grab... Uh, what is this? This is a... Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's, okay, that is right. So we're going to uh, purchase a train. Um, we're going to use the same train model here. Um, now, uh, we're going to uh, right, we're going to just uh, grab that. We're going to buy one for 72 million, right? Um, purchase it. Okay. Now we click here, right? And then we pick a line. We pick that. Good. Now we're rolling on the line. Um, okay. Now, go back to lines, and we will now, uh, do our timing calculator. We'll set the minimum stop times. We will, uh, uh, we're going to use 300 kilometers per hour for the okay, estimate leg times. That means we get a four hour interval. That's obviously too small or too large rather. So if we want a, uh, a half hour interval, we need eight trains. Okay. So trains, ICR crow's nest. We're going to clone it. Okay, do we have enough to do it? No. We could put five trains on. Purchase. Okay, let's go back to the lines. And minimum interval. Actually, I think we'll go with that. Um set okay uh, yeah we're gonna go with that uh for the moment okay um now let's um so we've got uh trains ticking back and forth through there and this shared bit of track shouldn't be a problem yeah that shouldn't be a problem now we've got one more line that we uh we need to uh, attach in here and that goes from Lake Louise over here to, to Walsh. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's add a new line, create new line. Uh, and this is uh, ICR Lake Louise to Walsh. Uh, I, I need to uh, fix this one to say uh, medicine hat right okay uh, right okay so now we're gonna add stops to the line and this is exactly the same thing that we did before uh, right where is the there it is okay we got that now this should be Banff next, right? Banff, yeah. Did I set another one out here? Yeah, Canmore. 
and then brilliantly named Dead Man's Flats and Lac Des Arc. Uh, Morley. Okay. Cochran. Uh, Northwest Calgary. I did not have a station along there. It was City Hall, right? Down here, across here, come around. We, yeah, here, yeah, good. We had another one over there. Okay. Chestermere. And then Strathmore, right? Yeah. And then we went to whatever's next here. Yeah, of course we went to whatever's next gen numbering. Uh, Gleeson, right? And then Brooks, right? Yeah. And then we have somebody else over here. So I didn't miss any stations or something. Uh... Suffield, Redcliffe, Medicine Hat, here, okay, and then we go from Medicine Hat, right, and then Irvine, and Walsh, okay. Now we need to do that in reverse, right, right, right. It's a lot easier to find them going back the other way because we have the line that we can follow. Uh, That was kind of fun. I kind of feel like I missed something there. Um, right. Well, if I did, I did. Uh, right. Okay, up this way, uh, Galatian, yep, and then Strathmore, right, and then Chestermere, Calgary, Calgary again, yeah. And then up here, yep, there. Okay, we're just about done. Bam, yep. I think we're going to need six or seven trains on this one down here. Black Day's Arc, Dead Man's Flats. Okay, and then Canmore, Banff, and then we're done, I think. Oh, 
I got this one the wrong way around. Uh, okay. So we're going to go this one. Um, delete the stop. Lake Louise. Then we go down here to Banff. Okay. We want B. Right. Then we go down to the bottom. I wish it wouldn't jump when you're selecting it when you're in add station mode. Uh, okay. Down. Okay. So far, so good. We are going to turn that part off. Uh, we're going to add a train to this. Uh, we're going to purchase new trains. We're going to purchase... Well, what we're going to do... How much are, is it? It's 72. We have 72 to purchase one. Um, we're going to purchase one. Right. Purchase. Click here. Uh, Lake Louise to Walsh. Good. Now we go to lines. Timing calculator. Uh, we're going to go for 300. We'll estimate the leg travel time. Uh, we'll set the minimum there. Okay, so we're going to have seven hours, seven and a half hours between us. So if we want a 30 minute interval, we'll need seven, 7.5 times two, which is 15 trains, right? Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put 45 minutes here. Set minimum intervals. Yeah. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, because I don't want to uh, sit around forever um, waiting for a uh, for cash to come in, we're going to go over here. We're going to take a new loan for the maximum. And we're going to put it out for the maximum length of time. And bam, we have enough cash. Okay. Um, so we're going to go in here. Um, trains. We're going to go in our uh, Crow's Nest Pass one. And we're going to uh, clone that to, uh, we have how many on here? Uh, we already had five, right? Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Now our um, crow's nest one, uh, paste, set interval. Okay, good. Now we'll go in the Lake Louise one. Yeah, we need another stack of them. Okay, so trains, uh, Lake Louise, clone. You're gonna need about that many, I think. Yeah, purchase. Now we go back to lines and we Paste, set. Okay. That's got our uh, lines uh, plumbed in. Okay. So now we have trains running along here. We have trains running along here. We have trains running up along here. And they should all be starting over here, right?
Yeah, yeah, they're all starting over there. Uh, okay, so uh, this should have our uh, rail network uh, starting to actually behave like a network. Now, there's a in this in, in the update uh, in the past uh, week or so, uh, we've had an update, a couple updates to the game. Uh, one of them is uh, we can see our current ridership. So as you can see, it's midnight, and we've currently got around 1,500 passengers, or 1,400 thereabout, uh, on our network uh, all, all at the, the same time, right? So, yeah, uh, we've, got, uh, we've got quite a lot of uh, uh, new stuff that's coming down the line as uh, the developer gets more and more stuff uh, out there um, so we got things spread out decently along here uh, we got this train working its way down to the end there what's going on up here oh it's just waiting uh, I might have too many trains on there well, not according to the estimator. Yeah, it's a fairly long line. So, uh, yeah, so you can see right in the wee hours, we have some pa some ridership, uh, but it drops off to almost nothing overnight. Oh, look, a whole bunch of them uh, escaped all at once. Uh, there's still some bugs in the spacing, uh, but they should spread out at uh they should spread out a bit here yeah so when they bunch up like that they should eventually spread out uh normally uh without uh without any intervention uh you know they should uh so we just need at least one to wait and uh, at, at each stop and eventually they will uh, spread out now I think we still have some launching yeah I think it got confused when the other train arrived and uh, got in the uh, waiting game yeah there's still space for them to spread out so uh, but anyway, this uh, ridership number uh, should it should go up through the day, uh, fluctuate or through the day a little bit. Uh, it should max out around early evening, and then uh, drop off to almost nothing overnight. Right. Okay. So now uh, that's basically. That's basically going to be it for the uh, initial uh, Alberta uh, part of the uh, of the grand plan. Uh, I'm not sure exactly uh, what I'm going to do uh, for the next bit. Uh, I suspect uh, what the next bit will be is a line from Edmonton to Saskatoon down toward uh, Winnipeg. And extend and, and a line from Medicine Hat across toward Winnipeg. That would be my guess what I'll do. Um, you know, work on a few uh, long haul things, get the, uh, the longer haul network together, um, you know, and get things going cross continent here. Uh, at some point, it would be nice if uh, he would if the developer will give us at least a way to put a, a map wraparound connector in, even if we can't scroll the map through there. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we got ridership, oh, up to up over 5,000. Wow. Uh, so I think uh, just by putting those new uh, trains on there, our ridership has... Uh, just about doubled, maybe tripled. That's possible. 
as I, I checked the ridership numbers while I was winding it forward for the cash buildup before, and it maxed out around 3,500. So yeah, that, and that was the uh, peak in the evening. So uh, I think we've probably, uh, you know, once we get a few more of these lines in, we'll just be swimming in cash, right? You know, be able to build whatever we want without having to wait too much time. Uh, yeah, 70, 7,700 looks like a peak there. Um, and it should be a little bit higher in the evening. It, it broke 8,000 there. Yeah. Um, right. Let's just run it a little bit faster. Yeah, it's breaking 9,000. Yep, 9,000 right at midday. And then there should be an evening peak as well. Right. Well, uh, we've definitely got some uh, some good uh, good uh, you know numbers going here. Uh, anyway, uh, what uh, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to call this the end of the uh, uh, the Alberta section of the uh, uh, of the Grand Plan. And then next next time I'm going to be back with some other game. I'm going to give a give a break to NIMBY Rails because really there's not much more to it than what we've been doing here. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how I'm going to uh, progress it. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more. Uh, I'll uh, build a thing and then I'll come back and give a tour and explain the thing and and then. Uh, uh, fling some trains at the thing, right? Uh, something like that. Uh, but, you know, just before I go, the reasoning, this is a major transportation corridor through the... Uh, uh, this, the this is where the Trans-Canada Highway runs. This is the southern Trans-Canada route. And there's a northern route that goes through Edmonton that we didn't build here because there's not... Well, it, it would be tedious, right? So, uh, next week is going to be something other than NIMBY Rails. And I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I haven't figured that out. Um, but uh, there will be something. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Ostriv, uh, which uh, is replacing Free Call. Uh, I need to play around with some uh, game options for um, next week for, for this time slot. And then uh, Thursday is going to be, uh, it's going to be Transport Fever uh, 2 again. And Friday is again going to be Soviet Republic. So, yeah, we've got our, uh, our standard schedule is continuing. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm looking for something to replace it for next week. I'll find something. Uh, if I don't, well, I'll uh, I'll still find something. Anyway, uh, that's uh, that's going to be all for this uh, Alberta, uh, you know, project here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, when I come back with NIMBY Rails, there will no doubt be some major updates to the game, and we'll see see what happens there. Anyway, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing um, apocalypse, I said pandemic, but no, it's really just an apocalypse. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. There seems to be some sort of a light at the end of the tunnel, so yay, I guess. Uh, and I suppose like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon thingy, or not, as you see fit. Apparently it helps if I ask. Yeah, whatever. It's up to you. Uh, it's your your viewing experience after all. And I guess see you back next time.